All right, so for the Splendor how-to video, uh, we're going to demonstrate how to keep sharp edges when you're smoothing. So let's create uh, Shift A, a UV sphere, bring it up a little bit, and make it a little bigger, right? So let's say, um, actually, let's do a modifier here, auto mirror, which is just across the x-axis, auto mirror, right? Shift, so whatever you do one side, it happens to the other, all right. So let's say I wanna give this figure an arm. So let's go to vertices, I'm gonna make the arm right about, right about here, all right. So let's dissolve this. It's all vertices. I've got a face like that face. Then we can do what vertices shift select all these ones, right? Then if you already have your uh, what do you call your add-on tool loop tools uh, selected, you're good. With all these selected and loop and loop tools add on, so uh, on press right click, loop tools, circle, right? R to make this all right. Then let's go with a one or three. Now we'll go with one, all right. So then this is going to be our arm, right? So go make it bigger. Actually, uh, sorry, uh, extrude with E. All right. Oh, my bad. Uh, R, E, R, E, R, E, R. Okay ponytails or something like that or just really weird arms but anyway um, now that we're gonna close this off so E like this and then M with all those highlighted at center G make this collapse in there lines up pretty good all right and if you don't like that you can also just delete it for this use uh, click the edge then select the other edge and shift A, shift control, and that will select all the edges. And then you can just do F and that'll close it out for you nicely. All right, so now we got arms, right? Okay, with arms, we want to make this look smooth because we're building like a human or something. Uh, so press tab, go to shade smooth, but you got these weird bumps right here, you know. Um, and everything kind of looks out of place. You kind of want to have that some distinct saying, hey, like this is where things branch off. So one thing you can do is go to um, edit mode, do a loop cut right here, and then, sorry, and make it go a little closer to where the arm kind of goes out of all these sections right here, right? And so like, if you go back, you can see how it's more distinct, has more of a shape. And that's how you kind of keep the hard edges, uh, even though you're smoothing things out. So again, see, the tab, now you still have that smoothing but you also have a sharper edge as you go. And we can add some more too. All right, let's see. If we can, if we want to make it smoother and still have those edges right here, uh, what we can add is another modifier, which is subdivision surface. And so like we have super smooth again, so we've added more smoothness with the levels here. But we 
also have those nice edges and they look so much nicer. All right, so that's pretty much the video. Uh, and hopefully this helps you as you're modeling uh, extra arms or whatever these things are. <laughs> All right, best of luck and uh, until the next video.